Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Matt. If you are new here, welcome. A couple months ago, I quit my job with the hopes to travel the world, but there's COVID. So instead, I spent the past six weeks exploring my own country in the beautiful islands of Hawaii. But now that I'm fully vaccinated, I'm going to be leaving the US for the first time in a very long time. And I'll be flying to Central America. So in this video, I'll be taking you with me as I embark on my next journey to Guatemala. Good morning, guys. It is four in the morning. The sun has not yet risen, but I am not even tired because today is going to be an absolutely incredible day. Why? Because I am flying to Central America, specifically to Guatemala, and I could not be more excited. Though I'm also a little bit nervous, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Before we go further into the video, I just wanted to preface that traveling right now is a very personal decision and something I would encourage you to think about if you are considering traveling right now. All I can say for myself is that getting fully vaccinated was one of my must-dos before traveling abroad, but I hope we can all agree that we're looking forward to a future with more travel. So leave a like down below if you are also looking forward to a future filled with more travel, more fun, more exploration, and more connection. Now back to the video. After landing in Guatemala City, you'll go through a quick health screening check before passing through customs. First, you'll get your temperature checked to make sure you don't have any COVID-like symptoms, and then you will show proof that you've completed the pre-travel entry requirements. And after this, you'll go through customs as you normally would. After arriving at the airport in Guatemala City, I jumped onto the airport Wi-Fi and ordered an Uber directly from the airport to my first destination, which is the beautiful colonial town of Antigua. Now, let's talk a little bit about the pre-travel testing requirements before entering Guatemala. So, what are the pre-travel testing requirements and how do you make sure you have all the right information before traveling abroad? Well, before you go abroad, definitely make sure that you do your research to make sure that you're not stuck at the border. During my research, I make sure I can answer three primary questions. One, am I allowed to enter this country? Two, can I enter this country safely given the current circumstances? And three, can I fulfill all the pre-travel testing requirements? So to answer these questions, I typically use three primary sources of information. First, I'll research the information my country's embassy publishes to make sure that I understand all the pre-travel testing requirements, as well as their perspective on my destination. So in this case, I researched the information the US Embassy in Guatemala published. Second, I'll research all the pre-travel test requirements through the airline I booked my flight with. Nowadays, many airlines are publishing entry requirements for all the destinations that they fly to, so this is another great way to make sure you're really checking all your boxes. And third, I like to read a couple blogs online about the experience of other travelers going to my destination during this time to better understand their experience and their perspective to know what I can expect during my travels. So what are the requirements to enter Guatemala? Well, based on my experience in April of 2021, there are a couple things you need to do before you leave. First, you'll need a negative COVID-19 test within 72 hours prior to your departure. This COVID-19 test must be either an antigen or PCR test. Based on my research, if you have been fully vaccinated for more than two weeks prior to your departure, you may not need the COVID-19 test, but just to be extra safe, I did get the negative test in addition to being fully vaccinated. Also, you will need to fill out a health screening form within 24 hours prior to departure, and that's pretty much it. 
There are a couple other restrictions um, that did not pertain to me. For example, if you've been to the UK or South Africa within 14 days prior to your arrival in Guatemala, you may be denied entry. Um, so I'd highly recommend you do your own research as well just to make sure you can enter the country safely and securely. So it is my first full day here in Antigua and I was pleasantly surprised with how easy my travel day was yesterday from getting to the airport to the health screening and security checkpoints to finally getting here to my final destination of Antigua. So I'm going to end the vlog here for today but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did make sure to hit that like button and I have a ton of great content planned for you guys over the next couple weeks showing you beautiful Guatemala. So if you're not already make sure to subscribe and catch my next video where I show you the beautiful town of Antigua, Guatemala.